everybody. So today we're going to be taking some guided notes on these other adjectives. And we've just kind of gone over these in that pair deck. But these are adjectives that are treated a little bit differently than some other adjectives. So we're going to start here and talk about what those exceptional adjectives are and why they're exceptional. So we have three adjectives that we're going to start with. We have beau, nouveau, and we have vieux. Beau, nouveau, and vieux. So beau is beautiful. Nouveau is new, and vieux is old. So I'm going to talk a little bit about why these are exceptional adjectives. So there are two things that are exceptional about these. First is that this adjective is going to go before the noun it describes. So these adjectives go before the noun they describe. This is one important thing. So we know in French that in general adjectives go after the noun they describe. And you saw this in your pair deck where we were talking about a black cat. We'd say un chat noir, a cat black. If you're talking about a nice teacher, you'd say un prof sympa. If you're talking about your parents that were strict, you'd say les parents stricts. But these words, beau, nouveau, and vieux, they're going to be placed before the noun they describe. So that's one reason they're exceptional. The other reason they're exceptional is because they change drastically depending on whether it's masculine, starts with vowel or consonant, feminine, or singular forms, and even the masculine and feminine forms in the plural are different. So these change a lot, which is why we have this big chart to fill out. So now we're going to take a look at these. And we're going to start by identifying the parts that are the same throughout the entire chart. Kind of put down those base letters. And then we're going to fill in the correct endings together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the parts of these adjectives that are going to stay the same no matter what form you're using. So for both, that B-E is going to be the same all the way across here. So let me put that in. So we've got VE, no matter if it's masculine, starting with a vowel or constant, if it's feminine in the singular, or if it's masculine or feminine in the plural. For the word nouveau, which means new, those letters, there are a lot more letters that stay the same, which is nice, all the way up through N-O-U-V-E. N-O-U-V-E, N-O-U-V-E. So you might be looking at this and thinking that it kind of reminds you of conjugating verbs. So it's not too, too different. Because um, in the same way we're, where a verb conjugation is matching a verb form to a pronoun, here we're going to be matching our adjective form to the word that it describes. Um, so finally getting into vieux, the letters that say the same are that V-I-E. So we'll put V-I-E in all of these boxes. So now we're going to go through and we're going to add in our endings. So I'm going to do a little bit of color coding here. I'm going to have some warm colors for singular. Maybe some cool colors for plural. Um, we'll kind of see what works out there just to make it a little bit easier to follow. All right, so we're going to start in this first column. Um, this is, you're going to be describing something masculine that starts with a vowel. For instance, you might describe um, 
un frère, le père, le grand-père. Um, you might be calling your brother, dad, or grandpa, or uncle, or whoever. You might be calling them beautiful, being nice to them. Um, and I know in English we think of beautiful as something feminine, um, but you can also describe it. Um, it's kind of like when this word is in the masculine, it's almost like the word handsome. We can call them new, you're old. So to fill this out, and I know this is in a different order than the notes, your ending for something masculine that starts with a vowel is bo, b, a, u. For nouveau, you have that same ending, nouveau. And then for old, it's a little bit different. The French love some good exceptions. So you still get a u here, but then it's o, x, vieux. So it's beau, nouveau, and vieux. And this is the way you tend to see these when they're generic. So they're not matched with a noun. They're not describing anything yet. So these are the three forms we've seen so far. Or that's if they start with a vowel. No, it's that's if they start with a consonant. Ah! So what we're going to do is we're just going to swap these. And this is why we have white out. <laughs> so when something starts with a consonant and a vowel, and you're going to be able to figure out why this wouldn't work with a vowel, because you'd have vowel right back to back and get that hiccuping sound. So that's actually why these next ones, the masculine things you would describe that start with a vowel, like un appartement, um, those kinds of things are going to have a different ending. So if it starts with a vowel, like appartement, it would be a beau appartement, because you've got those mismatch of sounds, beau appartement. It's un bel appartement, un nouvel appartement. And then here it's a vie. It's an I, L. You can kind of remember that because you is masculine. I have those in different colors. So you've got that L that stays the same all the way through. And then for old, it's just got that I added in just to be an exception to the rule. So those are to describe singular things. So say, un beau fils. Say, un nouveau frère. Say, un vieux voisin versus c'est un bel appartement c'est une nouvelle amie c'est un vieil oncle so now let's take a look at that feminine side so here we're going to see these be a lot more feminine looking this first word belle L-L-E. You'll notice, oh, this reminds me of, like, from Beauty and the Beast, the character Belle. Her name literally means beautiful. So, Belle, you add the L-L-E for feminine. For Nouvelle, again, you're going to add an L-L-E. And I'm sure you're guessing that this one is going to be just a little bit different. It is, you have to add an I-L-L-E. So, Belle, Nouvelle, Vielle. So now let's take a look at things in the plural form. So you're describing something, you're describing more than one thing, like um, fathers, sons, uncles, mothers, aunts, and nieces. So here we're going to see how we're going to make things plural masculine. So our adjectives are going to describe something that's plural and masculine. So more than one apartment, more than one dad or uncle or male cousin. You're going to see how this kind of ties in to those masculine things that start with a consonant. So it's de bo be. So you've got the A-U-X. It would be les nouveaux Appartement, A-U-X. And les vieux 
was up. So here we're seeing that the ux is the same there, but you get the aux here. Now for feminine things that are plural, it's going to really resemble here. So closely, in fact, that you just add an S. So, des belles mères, les nouvelles voitures, et um, les vieilles voisines. So I'm going to go through and talk about the pronunciation for this. So we have beau, nouveau, vieux. Belle, nouvelle, vieille. Belle, nouvelle, vieille. Beau, nouveau, vieux. Belle, nouvelle, vieille. So you notice that vieille, 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 vieux, vieux. Beau, beau, nouveau, nouveau. Belle, belle, nouvelle, nouvelle. So you can hear that there's a lot of similarities. So it's going to be important to look at articles to decide if something is singular or plural here. To finish off our notes, we're just going to remember that we have a place to talk about the placement of these adjectives up here. We're going to talk about their plurals that we had just talked about and the liaison. So. The placement, we remember, these go before the noun they describe. I'm going to do an example sentence, and I'll do that in pink. So I might say, j'ai une... Nouvelle voisine. I have a new neighbor. And I'm going to underline that bit that is the example. I'm going to underline that here. So, une nouvelle voisine. So you can see that the article goes first, then our exceptional adjective, nouvelle, and then the word it describes. So, a new neighbor, the same way we would do in English. I have a new neighbor. And say here that nouvelle voisine, that is feminine. So, we have plurals. I know that they sound identical. Beau, beau, nouveau, nouveau, vieux, vieux, belle, belle, nouvelle, nouvelle, vie, vie. So... So in general, with the exception of masculine things that start with a vowel being described, the singular and plural forms are going to sound the same. So it may be difficult to tell the difference. However, What we're going to do to tell the difference is we're going to pay close attention to our articles. So, listen to articles. So, we're going to have two phrases here. You have le beau chien the beautiful dog, versus les beaux chiens. Because when you see that written, it's really obvious that they're different because you've got the S there, the X there, and the S there. But when you hear these out loud, the only difference you're going to hear is between le beau chien and les beaux chiens. So I'm going to underline those important bits, the le versus the les. 